Artificial intelligence is rapidly changing the world around us, from powering self-driving cars to translating languages in real time. But what about a single AI capable of generating creative content, answering any question, and even understanding complex instructions? Enter Google Gemini AI, a powerful new model that's pushing the boundaries of AI technology. But what makes it truly special? And how can we unlock its full potential? This video will be your complete guide to Google Gemini AI. We'll explore its capabilities, explore its applications, and provide you with all the tools you need to master this cutting-edge technology. So, without further ado, let's dive in. Gemini is Google's largest and most capable AI that can process images, video, text, audio, and code. It claims to surpass the top AI chatbots like ChatGPT and Microsoft's Copilot Bing Chat. To learn more about it, go to DeepMind. What makes Gemini stand out is the multimodality reasoning seamlessly across text, images, video, audio, and code. Google has built three versions of Gemini with three different sets of skills. The largest, Ultra, is designed to tackle complex tasks and will debut in 2024. It will run on their cloud servers and you'll be able to get access to the API the same way you would as the ChatGPT, and most probably at around the same price point. Pro, the mid-tier offering, has been rolled out to the Bar Chatbot and will continue rolling out to many more Google products in the coming months. The Nano version of Gemini is the smallest version that runs locally on devices such as Pixel 8 Pro smartphones and will power features such as AI capabilities to the smartphone camera, summarizing audio recordings and offering suggested text responses. Alright, let's get you set up so that you can start using this revolutionary technology. In the very first step, you'll open your browser and type in Bard, Google.com. Despite the premium sounding name, the Gemini Pro update to Bard is free to use. For usage, a Google account is necessary. If you're viewing this video on YouTube, you're likely already signed in. Upon signing in, access this interface. Upon arrival, head to the Extensions tab. If you're unfamiliar with extensions, BARD offers these to enhance its capabilities and access more information. Presently, there are five extensions including Google Flights, Hotels, and Maps relevant to travel. However, two standout extensions are Google Workspace and YouTube, amplifying BARD's functionality. Activate them simply by toggling the slider to blue. Notably, BARD now encompasses YouTube Vision, enabling transcription viewing and visual inspection within videos. Let's explore some examples together. For a new chat with Bard, select New Chat to access the homepage. Your prompt is going to go over here at the bottom. You could also upload images. I'll show you how that works and you could also click this microphone icon to speak your prompt into Bard. Alright, now let's check what AI model is now working on Google Bard. I will ask Bard itself. Let's give a prompt as, what AI model is powering Google Bard? You can see it here. Google Bard is now powered by different AI models, including Palm 2, Lambda, and Gemini. As we previously discussed about three versions of Gemini, Gemini Ultra, Gemini Pro, and Gemini Nano. Let's see, currently which version is being used in Bard. As of December 10th Bard uses the Gemini Pro version. And in early 2024 it will start using Gemini Plus, which has advanced capabilities like code generation and image understanding. At this moment Gemini Ultra is not available for us. Alright, now let's see the ability of Gemini-powered Google Bard. Let's ask Brad how does a large language model work. As you can see, it provides a convincing answer. Now if you scroll down to the end of the answer, you will find some options here. First of all, the thumbs up and thumbs down button. Then modify option. Here you can modify the result. You can make it shorter, longer, more casual, or professional. All of these options cloud be done by one click. In other chatbots like ChatGPT you have to give a popper command to do this. For example, I want a simpler answer, so I am selecting simpler from here. And here is the result. Now the answer is in a simple version. Not only that, you will find three different version of the every answer. To do this with others, chatbot you have regenerate the answer again. Okay, after the modify option, you will find the share option. Here you can share your output with others. You can export it into a doc file. You can even make a Gmail draft from here. 
After the share option here you will find a Google icon. It's basically a fact-checking tool. You can recheck your answer using the Google search engine and database. Just click on here. Now Google will search on the web for this result. Once it is completed, you can see the result. As there are no results found, that means it's authentic. For a better understanding, click on understand the result from here. If any of your result part is highlighted in green that means Google search found content that's likely similar to the statement. And if any of your result part is highlighted in red that means Google search found content that's likely different from the statement, or it didn't find relevant content. That's an amazing feature of Gemini AI. Now let's talk about another useful option. Bard can look into your email account as long as you're using the same Gmail account you're signed into. It could analyze things inside of your Google Drive, Google Docs, or Google Sheets. That's an extremely useful option. Let me show you this. I just wrote how many emails did I get today? It will analyze my Gmail mailbox and provide the answer. As this is my test email and I did not get any mail today, it's saying it couldn't find any emails in your Gmail for today, December 10, 2023 like the email you can access and summarize the file of your Google Doc file with Gemini AI. Just enter at Google Doc and then enter the command. For example, I am entering, find the doc with prompt. You can see it found doc file containing word prompt. Now to summarize any doc file just give a command as summaries, after that enter the doc file name. And you can see, Bard perfectly summarizes our document. The next option I wanted to show you, which again, Bard exceeds every other language model is the ability to actually use YouTube and find information inside of YouTube videos. Now they have the benefit of owning YouTube, right? Bard and YouTube are owned by the same company, Google. So if I search here to find a YouTube video, very quickly, it's going to find me the videos that I asked for. It usually lists 5 videos and you could just watch them from here. Or you could just say, recap the first video and give me the recipe. And it's going to go to work very quickly. So you could avoid watching the whole video here and just get the recipe and the instructions from here. And you could also ask a lot more to dive deeper into that video. For example, I am asking the step-by-step -step method of making a cake at home in a table format according to the video. And here is the result. Now you can export this table into a Google Sheet file. Just click on here. It will create a new Google Sheet file on your drive. You can access it directly from here. Alright, now let's its capability of image reading. I will upload an image and then ask Bard to analyze the image. First I will upload a thumbnail of my previous video. After uploading the image, I am entering the prompt as what's in the attachment. And here is the result. It says, the attachment shows a woman using a tablet to draw on a whiteboard. Bard also predicted this image use case possibilities. A tutorial on how to make a whiteboard animation in Adobe Illustrator. An advertisement for a whiteboard animation service. A conceptual image of the different stages of creating a whiteboard animation. That's nearly the correct answer. It also provides some additional notes about the image and all of them are correct. In this case, Gemini AI did an exceptional job. Now let's upload another image. This time I will upload an image with multiple human figures. Oh, Bard or Gemini is not capable of helping with images of people yet. That's disappointing. I hope in a later version Google will solve this issue. In conclusion, Google Bard with Gemini Pro is really a game changer. I hope it will be more powerful in the near future. Alright, friends, I will wrap up our video now. Before that, I would love to hear about your opinion about Gemini AI. Share your thoughts and results in the comments section below. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tutorials like this one. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, happy creating!